just more than 21,000 hectares now. It started off with four hectares around the southern tip. It was bought in 1998 and um, officially proclaimed in 1999. And from there, then it grew up to now um, to just more than 21,000 hectares. They call it like Serengeti of, of, of the Cape. It's just flat plain when you spot those water, water bodies uh, from the mountain. When you look on the southern side, which is the seaside, and then you've got this great view of the, of the ocean with the springs also on the freshwater springs on the southern side of, of the mountain. Uh, so there's quite a few sites with uh, interesting uh, history and then heritage of course that we can show people. There's a nice boardwalk going down there and there's also a circular hiking trail that people can do which start at the only visible shipwreck and you will go past the, the fish traps as, as such. The low built stone walls, half circular form, so when the tide comes in the fish comes with it and when the tide pulls back the fish stays behind. Okay, the lighthouse is the second oldest lighthouse on our shoreline. The most southern, of course. It was built in 1848 and the light was light on the 1st of March 1849. 71 steps to get to the top. The tower itself is 27 meters high. Everyone wants to visit the southernmost tip of Africa. I think the southernmost tip is one of those uh, uh, icons that draw people to, to come to this area. Uh, and the feeling you have when you're there, to stand looking at the sea there where the little beacon is, and just think of what's behind you. One reason that the park was established was the lowland Feinbos. The diversity is massive. A lot of variety of pests and because of the wetlands that we have. Accommodation is very lovely, especially if you're staying at the Agalas Main Rest Camp. The secluded is away from any noise or any traffic, it's just hidden in the bush and it's just right in front of the, of the sea. Call it Satellite Rest Camp, which is like a guest house. They are in the middle of the park, uh, they don't have sea view, but they're secluded, they're so, they're so far away from any. Uh, human uh, interference or uh, noise. Forget about TV, forget about cell phones, restaurants for that matter. You're in the middle of nowhere in a way and to experience that. <laughs>